Hey, hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve practice problem 5.2 from Hades book. And the question is to find V1 and V2 because voltage across each current source is just V1 and V2 by using superposition. Remember, when using superposition, we only turn off the independent sources. So we do not turn off this dependent source. And now we need to break this down into two circuit because we have two independent source. Okay, now let's draw the circuit. Let me draw the circuit. Okay, here is the circuit when we turn off this two ampere current source, which we replace by open circuit. And this is the circuit when we turn off this three volt voltage source, which we change it into short circuit. And we need to analyze this separately. I will use nodal analysis on both of them. Maybe I will assume the direction of the current. It's going there, it's going there, and this is going there. This is going down to the right, going down, and this is going up. Remember, this is also I, right? Okay, so for I will first analyze this circuit. Okay, let's do KCL at V1 prime. KCL at V1 prime. Okay, and the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Remember that this is 3 fold from the ground, so this will be 3. So I will have 3 minus V1 prime divided by 7 is equal to v1 prime minus v2 prime divided by 15 okay maybe just a little rewriting I do not want to get complicated 3 over 7 minus v1 prime over 7 is equal to v1 prime over 15 minus v2 prime over 15. So I can just move this to the right hand side, right? And that will equal to this one. And this one will change into positive. So let's factor out that v1 prime. I have 1 over 7 plus 1 over 15 and this will be v1 prime minus 1 over 15 of v2 prime and that will equal to 3 over 7. Maybe let's save that as equation number 1. Now what can we do next will be KCL at v2. KCL at V2, we will need this current here, right? Let's do KCL at V2 prime. KCL at V2 prime. The current that goes in is from this one. I will have V1 prime of minus V2 prime over 15. Okay, so let's do that. V1 prime minus v2 prime over 15 and that will equal to not equal to this current is still going in so i will have plus 4i 4i i is v2 prime divided by 5 right so i'll have 4 v2 prime divided by 5 why because i is just v2 prime divided by 5 and that will equal to this current also. So I will have V2 prime over 5. So moving this to the left hand side, I will have this V1 prime over 15 minus V2 prime over 15 and then plus 3 over 5 V2 prime. Yeah, that will equal to zero. So that's not good. Let's do like it. Let's 
something like this and we can factor out the v2 so we'll have 1 over 15 v1 prime and then for this one i will have plus i will write this 3 over 5 first 3 over 5 minus 1 over 15 of v2 prime that will equal to 0. let's save that as equation number 2 so now we need to find out v1 and v2 we can just use calculator for that v1 prime and v2 prime what is that what is that now let's use calculator to set up and we need to do equation this is number five and we need two variables which is number one okay so now this one will be one over seven okay let's do that one over seven plus one over 15 let's put it there and then this one will be minus okay minus one over 15 put it there and then 3 over 7 3 over 7 put it there and then for the second one i will have 1 over 15 1 over 15 put it there and then 3 over 5 3 over 5 minus 1 over 15 1 over 15 yeah and then the last one will be zero okay our x will be one point one point nine six seven okay one point nine six seven and the unit will be four okay and for v2 that will be minus minus zero point two four six minus zero point two four six and the unit will be four. is it right i don't know yeah i saw the number here yeah it's maybe correct so let's move on to this other circuit let's do similar things we need to do kcl at v1 double prime kcl at Oh, I, I should use sky blue here, right? Let's do KCL at V1 double prime. Okay, the current that goes in is only this 2 ampere, so I will have 2. And that will equal to this current here, which is V1 double prime over 7. And this current is going out, so I will have plus V1 double prime minus V2 double prime divided by 15. Okay, I think that's all. Okay, now let's do some simplification. So I'll have V1 double prime over 7 plus V1 double prime over 15 minus v2 double prime over 15 that will equal to 2 right so now let's take out the v1 double prime that will be 1 over 7 plus 1 over 15 v1 double prime and then minus 1 over 15 v2 double prime that will equal to 2. Maybe let's save that as equation number 3. And then let's do KCL at V2 double prime. KCL at V2 double prime. This current is going in and this current is going in. So v1 double prime minus v2 double prime divided by 7 no 15 
plus v1 minus v2 double prime divided by 15. Okay, and this current here that goes in, that will be for i, but i is v2 double prime over 5. So I will have 4 v2 double prime divided by 5. And that will equal to this current here is going out. That will equal to V2 double prime divided by 5. I think that will be exactly the same as this, right? So I'll have V1 double prime over 15 minus V2 double prime over 15. And then plus, we move it, move this to the left hand side. So I'll have 3 V2 double prime over 5. And all of that will equal to 0. So now let's take that out. 1 over 15 V1 double prime. And then plus, I will write this first. So I'll have 3 over 5 minus 1 over 15. And this will multiply by V2 double prime. And all of that will equal to 0. And let's have that as equation number 4. So we have this equation and this equation which we can solve by using calculator. Or maybe if you want, you can solve it manually by using Kramer's method. But yeah, we have technology. So use it. Let's do equation. And we only have two variables, so we use number one. And the first one will be 1 over 7 plus 1 over 15. 1 over 7 plus 1 over 15. Okay. And then this one will be minus 1 over 15. And this one will be just 2. Okay. And this one will be 1 over 15. And this one will be 3 over 5 minus 1 over 15. Okay, and this one will be 0. Okay, what is V1 double prime? V1 double prime will be 9. Point eighteen, okay, nine point eighteen, and the unit will be volt. Okay, for V two, let's do V two. I will have minus one over one four eight, minus one over one four eight volt. Okay. Now, this is for the separate circuit that we are looking at here. For the V1, we can just sum this up. So, I'll have V1 prime plus V1 double prime. Similarly, we can have V2 is equal to V2 prime plus V2 double prime. Okay, I think we can just use calculator here. Have V1 prime, or we'll have 1. Okay, now let's do computation 1 over 967 plus 9.180. That will be 11.147. 11.147 volt. And then one more. I will have minus 0 0.246 and then minus 1 over 1 for 8. Okay, I will have minus 1.394. Minus 1.394. Okay, is it the same as the answer key? Let me check it. Yeah, I hope so. Let's hope so. 
so I will have this one yeah I think that similar number this one is similar number and for V2 I think that's also a similar number yeah we got the answer from the answer key and that means that our answer is correct according to the answer key okay so hopefully this will help you learn about superposition by solving this practice problem 5.2 thank you for watching do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel thank you